Are you ready to do some ear training to get you ready for the OET listening part C? Well, if so, you're in the right place because in this video, we're going to be looking at doing some ear training and the topic is all about biological engineering. On Thursday, I went to the brilliant OET forum in London at the King's Fund and it was fantastic to hear all about what the OET is doing um, in terms of safeguarding the community, making sure the testers super super secure and various talks like that. But my favourite talk of all was to hear about how empowering it can be for candidates to do their OET and then go on to work in the profession of their dreams in a country that they choose, an English speaking country like the UK, um, Ireland, um, the US or Australia. And it was really great to hear um, from some overseas nurses about that. Um, and that really inspired me again to think about doing these videos. Um, and I heard some lovely feedback as well from some of my colleagues um, and their students as well about how much you enjoy these ear training videos. So I thought, well, it's about time that I do another one. Um, and if you're new to this, and thank you for watching. Um, and if you're coming back as well, thank you very much for that. Uh, but yeah, what are these about? Um, well, it comes from my theory, and a lot of teachers will tell you this, that tests are great, you know, that they really are great to test you. But they're not designed to help you build the skills you need to be able to sit the test successfully. Um, so, so many candidates just want to do test after test after test, but all that means they're doing is testing. They're not building their skills up um, and doing things like listening to podcasts, listening to health related news, reading as much as you can, just submerging yourself into the language will really help build your skills, your vocabulary, your stamina for listening to English for long periods of time. And that's what we're doing in these videos. And in this video, we're going to be doing some gap fills um, so that you're really training your ear so that you can hear the sounds of English, get used to them. And then we'll do some OET style comprehension questions, just five this time. Um, just to get you in that training mode again. My name's Sona, I'm your online OET tutor with Bose Learning, and I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET. Okay, so before you do any kind of training, of course, you need to warm up. And just because it's English, there's no difference from it being, you know, the kind of training that you do when you go for a 5k run around the park, maybe. Um, so start by warming up your brain. What do you know about biological engineering? It's obviously something that takes place in a laboratory. Um, maybe it's associated with GM foods. So genetically modifying foods. It's something about changing this biology. So it's modifying an existing organism, maybe something to do with the DNA. And it could also be associated with some kind of health scare. So we've all heard those kind of danger stories connected to GM food. Maybe you're not a fan of GM food yourself. But let's see, this is going not if this is not going to go away so we have to see and we have to inform ourselves um, more about it so first of all let's just listen to the whole article it's about two minutes long and i want you to please tell me which summary is better not from your general understanding of biological engineering but from what is said in the news report okay is it option A or option B? So I'm going to give you a minute just to read the two summaries, notice the differences, then I'll press play and then you can tell me which is the better summary. So this is practicing your listening for gist.
This new area of science is called engineering biology, and it's all about harnessing and adapting the power of nature to produce all sorts of things. Governments are particularly interested in it because it has the potential to produce many of the things we need in a sustainable way. Researchers in Bedfordshire are using engineering biology to turn these green algal plants yellow, then completely white, to make a new superfood. They add chemicals to the green algae solution, which speeds up evolution. They then turn it into a powder, which is rich in protein and can be used as a substitute for eggs and dairy by the food industry. With no butter and eggs, these cakes are lower in fat and cholesterol, but taste just like the ones you shouldn't eat too much of. They've been produced using natural organisms, but the technology could potentially be improved by other companies by genetically altering the bugs to be more productive and versatile. The people who are leading this discussion are people who are invested in ensuring that the technology receives the widest possible funding and the widest possible dissemination. The problem is that it's a technology that is messing around with living organisms to make them part of industrial systems. And whilst it has the potential to do good, it also has the potential to do harm. Hundreds of lab-grown products are on their way. Engineering biology is seen by governments as a solution to some of their biggest problems. Their challenge, though, is to introduce it with the right safeguards to ensure it's a technology that people trust rather than one they fear. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. OK, and of course, the option that is correct is option B because it's about modifying natural organisms, not just for food products, but various sustainable products. It does offer jobs. You might assume it's going to reduce the number of jobs, but that's not actually mentioned in the report. They talk about the benefit of offering more jobs um, in food production and environmental health. But of course, there are safety concerns. So it's not that there are a few risks or concerns about this. It does raise safety concerns and there's obviously a need for proper regulation. So that's the general gist of it. OK, this time we're going to be doing some intense listening. So I want you to listen really, really carefully and fill in the gaps as you go. Let's start. This new area of science is called engineering biology and it's all about harnessing and adapting the power of nature to produce all sorts of things. Governments are particularly interested in it because it has the potential to produce many of the things we need in a sustainable way. Researchers in Bedfordshire are using engineering biology to turn these green algal plants yellow, then completely white, to make a new superfood. The problem is that it's a technology that is messing around with living organisms to make them part of industrial systems. And whilst it has the potential to do good, it also has the potential to do harm. Here are the answers. This new area of science is called engineering biology and it's all about harnessing and adapting the power of nature. So what do we mean by harnessing? We mean, of course, using, collecting, reining in. So a harness, for example, is something that you put on a horse to make sure that the horse, um, you then have the reins attached to the harness and you can guide the horse in the correct direction or in the direction you want it to go. Um, and that's the idea here. You are putting a harness over this um, biology and making it do what you want it to do. Um, this is a nice one. Governments are particularly interested. So maybe they're not very interested or they are kind of interested. No, they are particularly, they're very interested in it. Why? Because it means we can be more sustainable. Uh, it's a new superfood and I think that's uh, kind of one of those buzzwords you'll definitely have heard before in terms of nutrition, um, lots of popular science, that kind of thing. Messing around with. The problem is it's a technology, according to the lady that we hear, that is messing around with, is changing living organisms to make them part of industrial systems. So it's a living organism but it's used for industry. It's got the potential to do good, but 
also the potential to cause harm. Right, okay, then let's do some OET style multiple choice questions. And we're only going to do five because, as I say, I don't want to test you, I just want to test you on the skills that you are building. Um, so we're going to be testing global understanding and listening for specific detail in this case. And it's the same report that you've just heard. Um, but first, I'm going to give you some time just to read over the questions. As I say, there are five. Okay, so let's listen and try and answer the questions. This new area of science is called engineering biology and it's all about harnessing and adapting the power of nature to produce all sorts of things. Governments are particularly interested in it because it has the potential to produce many of the things we need in a sustainable way. Researchers in Bedfordshire are using engineering biology to turn these green algal plants yellow then completely white to make a new superfood. They add chemicals to the green algae solution, which speeds up evolution. They then turn it into a powder, which is rich in protein and can be used as a substitute for eggs and dairy by the food industry. With no butter and eggs, these cakes are lower in fat and cholesterol, but taste just like the ones you shouldn't eat too much of. They've been produced using natural organisms, but the technology could potentially be improved by other companies by genetically altering the bugs to be more productive and versatile. The people who are leading this discussion are people who are invested in ensuring that the technology receives the widest possible funding and the widest possible dissemination. The problem is that it's a technology that is messing around with living organisms to make them part of industrial systems. And whilst it has the potential to do good, it also has the potential to do harm. Hundreds of lab-grown products are on their way. Engineering biology is seen by governments as a solution to some of their biggest problems. Their challenge, though, is to introduce it with the right safeguards to ensure it's a technology that people trust rather than one they fear. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. OK then, how did you get along? Let's check and find out. We'll take a look at the correct answers and, of course, why the wrong ones are wrong. So the first question, what is the main aim of engineering biology as described in the report? Um, and the answer is option A, to leverage, to harness these natural processes in an eco-friendly, sustainable way. It wasn't to solely develop medical technologies. It was also, it has been developed to produce other products like artificial leather. Um, and we don't want to build entirely new organisms to replace current agricultural practices. That, of course, is wrong. Number two, why are governments interested in this technology? Because it could solve these major issues of, you know, carbon emitting um, agricultural problems in a way that's more sustainable. It's less harmful to the planet. 
nothing about it seeing an evolution of these traditional industries and more money um, and these ethical implications and safety issues have not already been addressed in fact that comes up a bit later um, as being something important so no it hasn't already been addressed question three how are researchers using engineering biology in food production well they're turning this green algae into this powder and it's less calorific he says um, that can then be used in foods um, it's not about making the powder magically making dairy and eggs safe for people with allergies they do mention replacing dairy and eggs but not that it makes it safe for for those with allergies and it's not about replacing common meats with these plant proteins either. Question four, the ethical concern raised in the report, well the lady they spoke to says it could, because we're altering organisms and putting them into industry, we don't really know what the risks are. It might have some kind of unexpected implications that we just can't predict at the moment. Um, nothing about reducing the number of jobs. In fact, they talk about more jobs in this industry becoming available and nothing about it being too expensive to implement on a large scale. And finally, what does the reporter suggest is necessary for public acceptance of engineering biology? Well, the government needs to make sure that protective measures are in place um, because any kind of safeguard will make sure the public feels a bit more confident about this, um, which is what option C is saying. Nothing about more funding to make the technology more widespread and nothing about public communication of the benefits and manufacturers' beliefs, no. It was these protective measures that need to be very, very secure. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. If you want um, a regular dose of all things OET, why not sign up for my Telegram group? It's completely free and you get a regular dose of videos, tips, advice, things like that straight to your phone. Um, watch one of my other videos if you like. I've got over 250. Um, so hopefully something that you will enjoy and find useful on there. Um, and if you have any questions, then feel free to get in touch. It'll be lovely to hear from you. Uh, and please do pass this on to friends, colleagues, write me a little comment, subscribe, all these things help me um, and help us to grow this channel, which is, which is really lovely as well. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.